What's going on guys? Josh here from Momentum Productions and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the dual handle system for the Crane version one and version two. This is not to be confused with the Crane 2. This is only the dual handle system for the first generation of the Crane gimbal. It won't fit on the Crane 2. So why would you need a dual handle system? A dual handle system allows you to evenly distribute the weight of the gimbal and the camera between two arms instead of just one. This allows you to actually operate the gimbal for a longer period of time and it actually stabilizes your shots even better. As soon as you open the box, you'll notice that you are greeted by a manual. You can use it as a step-by-step -step reference when installing the dual handle system on your crane gimbal. So the dual handle system comes in three different pieces. We have the two separate handles and we have the crossbar. All of these pieces are made out of aerospace grade aluminum alloy. So we're working with high quality parts here. The handles have a nice rubber textured grip. So when your hands get tired or sweaty, they won't slip. Also on the bottom of the handles, we have a quarter 20 inch accessory port. So you can mount lights, microphones, and other accessories as well. And we can also unscrew the bottom of the handle. That way we can actually mount this dual handle system on a vest. So that comes in handy too. Now let's look at the crossbar. With the crossbar, we have accessory ports on both ends. Again, these are meant for mounting lights, microphones, or other accessories. We also have two more accessory ports found right next to the mounting area. Now let's put the system together. Grab your handles and slip them onto the dedicated areas that are on the crossbar. If you wanna follow my preference, I like to leave the handlebars in the up position. So the orientation of your crossbar is also very important. I like to leave the tensioner screw facing me and I like to have the accessory ports facing up. That way I can easily mount any accessories I want. Now all we have to do is slip on the dual handle system onto the crane's handle. Make sure the crane handle system is mounted right below the top silver ring. You also wanna make sure that the gimbal is properly aligned with the dual handle system. The best way to do this is to make sure that the buttons and control panel are facing you just as the tensioner is for the crossbar. Next, we can mount on our tabletop tripod. Now, let's grab our camera. If you wanna learn how to properly balance your camera on the Crane Generation 1 gimbal, go ahead and check out this video here. Now at this point, we're essentially done with the whole setup. However, I wanna take full advantage of this dual handle system. I'm gonna go ahead and attach my five inch Sakani touchscreen monitor. Now, how are we gonna do this? First off, you do need some extra accessories such as a mini ball head and a quarter 20 inch male to male screw adapter. I will post links to where you can find those items in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. Screw on your male to male quarter 20 inch screw. Once you do that, go ahead and attach your ball head to the monitor. After that, you want to mount your monitor on the accessory port, which is on the handle system. Usually you want your monitor to be on the side where all of your camera ports are. That way it will be a lot easier to attach your HDMI cable. Once you've attached your monitor, you can go ahead and loosen up the ball head tensioner and adjust the monitor so it's easy enough for you to view while shooting. Now let's attach our HDMI cable. Now, I strongly recommend that you get a shorter HDMI cable because extra slack can be a bit of a pain. First off, let's connect it to the camera. Now let's properly wrap it around the rig. In order to do that, I'm gonna start off by feeding the cable over the lens. Then I'm going to go under the roll arm and over the pan arm. Now it's important to leave a little bit of extra slack, that way your gimbal still freely rotates without any obstruction. Now we can wrap it around the crossbar. Then we're gonna wrap it around the handle a few times and then feed it directly into the monitor. During this process, you wanna make sure that your gimbal is freely moving without any pulling or tugging on the HDMI cable. That way you're not putting any stress on the cable itself or onto the gimbal's motors. Now let's turn on the gimbal and test it out.
excellent. Now you have a complete rig ready to shoot. Sometimes I like to add some microphones and lights onto this rig as well. Simply use the same process that we used when mounting the monitor. Well guys, that is the dual handle system for the Crane version one and version two. If you're interested in this product, go ahead and check out the link for it in the description box below. Don't forget to give this video a big like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel with notifications on. I can't wait to see what you create. Bye-bye.